Good morning, grade two. How are you today? I hope you are fine. Are you ready for our phonics lesson today? So pay attention and listen carefully, please. Today is Monday, 13th of April, 2020. Our phonics lesson today is about inflected endings. Inflected endings. What's the meaning of inflected endings? Inflected endings means a group of letter added to the end of a word to change its meaning. So, a group of letter added to the end of the word to change its meaning. For example, we can add S, E, S, E, D, I, N, G, E, S, T, and E, R. Okay, for example, to the plural nouns, we add S or E, S um, to compare between two things or more than we add er or est right when we want to form a past tense we add ed we when we want to form a present participle we add ing so uh, these um, letters when we want to add uh, a group of uh, these uh, letters to uh, add to the end of the word it uh, change or this um, ch uh, this addition change the meaning of the word. Okay. When adding ed to a word ends with y, we have to change y to i. We said we have to change the y to i when we want to add ed, but don't change the y when we want to add i and g okay don't 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 change the y when you want to add i and g for example if i have a try i want to add ed it will be tried i will change the y to i cry i have to change the y to i but if I want to add ing, it will be trying and crying, right? Uh, I don't change the y. I keep it as it is. Try and plus ing. I don't uh, change anything. Uh, the meaning of try, effort to do something and cry to, pro to produce tears. To produce tears that means sad so try effort to do something and cry to produce tears got it tried tried it is the past tense of try the past tense of try that means it happened in the past example I tried to open the window tried to open the window I uh, change the Y to I, okay? Trying, trying. It is the present participle of try. Present participle of try. It, ha it is happening now. An example, I'm trying my best to build this Lego castle. I'm trying my best. Cried, cried. It is the past tense of cry. When I want to add the ED, I change the Y to I. She cried out in pain when she fell. Crying, it is the present participle of cry. And if I want to add ING, I uh, don't uh, change the Y to I. Okay, I don't change anything. I could hear someone crying in the next room. Now, when adding ed or ing to a word ends with e, we drop the e. We drop the e. We said if the um, word has e at the end and I want to add ed or ing, I drop the e, uh, which means remove it, cancel it, okay? For example, if I have like, like, 
if I want to add ED, I remove the E, then add ED. If I have a hike, I remove the E and add ED. Bake, the same. I remove the E and um, add ED. Okay? Okay. The same when I want to add ing, liking, hiking, baking, I remove the e and add ing. What's the meaning of like? Like to show that you think something uh, is good, to show that you think something is good or similar, similar, the same. What's the meaning of bake? To cook inside an oven. To cook inside an oven. To bake the cake, for example. Hike a long walk. A long walk. This is the meaning of hike. A long walk. Liked. Liked. It is the past tense of like. The past tense of like. I like the dog that we saw yesterday. I like the dog that we saw yesterday liking liking it is a feeling that you like someone or something a feeling that you like someone or something i've always had a liking for donuts okay baked baked it is the past tense of bake the past tense of bake I baked some cupcakes yesterday. I baked some cupcakes yesterday. Baking. Baking. It is the present participle of bake. I made the icing while the cake was baking. I made the icing while the cake was baking. Um, look here. We um, drop the what the e we dropped the e hiked hiked it is the past tense of hike and look here i dropped the e and add ed last summer my friends and i hiked to the top of the mountains Hiking, hiking, also we uh, dropped the E and add ING, it is the present participle of hike, example, Tom likes hiking in the woods, okay? Now when adding ED or ING to a word ends with vowel and consonant, we double the final letter, okay, and never double W, X, and Y. So, if I have vowel and consonant at the end of the word and I want to add ED or ING, I doubled the uh, consonant, the last letter I have in the base word. For example, I have a skip, I and P, vowel and consonant, so I um, Double, uh, double the P, okay? Then I add ED or ING. Skip, skipped, skipping. Plan, planned, planning. Shop, shopped, shopping. What's the meaning of a skip? To move lightly and quickly. To move lightly and quickly. What's the meaning of plan? Plan, to think about and decide what you are going to do. And what's the meaning of shop? A place where you can buy goods. A place where you can buy goods. Got it? Skipped. Skipped. It is the past tense of skip. The past tense of skip. Example, I skipped breakfast yesterday. I skipped breakfast yesterday. Skipping, skipping, it is the present participle of a skip. The example is the girls like skipping rope. 
skipping rope. I doubled the last consonant. Planned, planned. I doubled the N. It is the past tense of plan. An example, last Saturday, my mom planned a trip to the museum. Planning, also here I uh, double the N. Present participle of plan and the example is I'm planning to travel next month. I'm planning to travel next month. Shopped, shopped. It is the past tense of shop. For the last two weeks, I shopped online. For the last two weeks, I shopped online. Shopping. It is the present participle of shop. I'm going shopping, then spending the rest of the day at the gym. I'm going shopping, then spending the rest of the day at the job. Okay. Now, ER and EST, a word with more than one vowel or ends with more than one consonant, add ER or EST. For example, we have fast, faster, fastest, kind, kinder, kindest no changing okay what's the meaning of fast moving or ha uh, happening quickly kind uh, generous helpful in thinking about other people's feeling kind faster used when comparing between two things if i want to compare between two things uh, i use faster the shita is faster than the lion. The cheetah is faster than the lion. Fastest, used when comparing more than two things. Sam is the fastest one in the class. The fastest one in the class. Kinder, kinder, used when comparing between two things. For example, Mr. Jack is kinder to me than anyone else. And kindest when I want to compare between more than two things. My brother is the kindest one with dogs. The kindest one with dogs. Add ES to words ending in ch sh x double s z and s to make the words in plural if i want to um, add es um, to the singular nouns to make them uh, plural plural um, i add es to the words uh, ending with ch sh x double s z and s for example box here it ends with X, so when I want to make it plural, I add ES, not S alone, ES. It is a square or rectangular container with stiff sides and sometimes a lid. Boxes, boxes, plural of form of box. That means not only one box, many boxes, okay? We fill the boxes with toys. We fill the boxes with toys. Now, uh, let's watch this uh, video. Hey kids, hey kids, adding ing in -I -N to a verb tells that the action is ongoing. When a verb ends with one or more consonants, we can just add ing. Let's take a look at the examples. Read with me. Draw, drawing. Draw, drawing. Eat, eating. Eat, eating. Drink, drinking. Drink, drinking. Fact. However, 
When a verb ends in a consonant and an e, we should remove the e before adding ing. Let's take a look at the examples. Read with me. Dance, dancing. Dance, dancing. Hide, hiding. Hide, hiding. Ride, riding. Ride, riding. And when the verb ends with one short vowel and one consonant, we can double the final consonant before adding ing. The double consonant keeps the vowel short. Let's take a look at the examples. Read with me. Cut, cutting. Cut, cutting. Run, running. Run, running. Sit, sitting. Sit, sitting. If you take an E and you add a D, you will get me. I go at the end and I will send words into the past. Just give me a word, it must be a verb. And you will see that I will take it into the past. I was born first than my brother, so I am older than him. What you cannot say is, I am more old than him. This is not correct. It's like mixing the word more with the adjective. Let's make an example. Guess you're running against a friend, only the two of you. And then, you win. So, what would you say to your friend? Then, you told your friend, I am faster than you, which is correct. What you cannot say is, I am more fast than you. This is not right. Well, moving on. Superlatives are adjectives that compare more than two things. Like comparing three people to see which one is the oldest, the youngest, and the tallest. How to use superlatives? First, don't forget superlatives are used to compare more than two things. The clue word for superlatives is most, at an ESD, which is an abbreviation of most at the end of the adjective. And if the adjective is too short, duplicate the last letter. Let's make an example. Now, let's suppose you're running against many friends. And then, you win. So, what would you say to your friends? Then you tell your friends, I am the fastest runner, which is correct. What you cannot say is, I am the most fast runner. This is not right. Hey kids, the word plural means more than one. To make a word plural, we usually add S. Let's take a look at the examples. Read with me. One bird. One bird. Two birds. Two birds. One cat. One cat. Two cats. Two cats. One dog. One dog. Two dogs. Two dogs. Phonics fact. For words that end in the letter S, CH, SH, SS, and X, we usually add ES. Let's take a look at the examples. Read with me. One bus. One bus. Two buses. Two buses. One dress. One dress. Two dresses. Two dresses. One fox. One fox. Two foxes. Two foxes. Very good. You've done a very good job. Now open your uh, Readers and Writers Notebook, page 481, and take five minutes to think and uh, solve this page. 481.
Okay. Now, um, let's find the base word and write it. What's the meaning of the ba base word? Uh, for example, like tried. Tried here, it is a, a try and ed, right? Try plus ed. The base is try. The base is try. For example, trying. The base is try because it is try plus ing. So, try is the base. Now, hiked. Hiked. What is the base here? What is the base word? The base word is excellent. Hike, hike. Now, number two, skipped, skipped. Yes, skip with one P, one P. Excellent, skip. Now, planning, planning. Great job, plan with one N. 1 n shopping shopping great shop with 1 p now cried cried yes excellent cry with y not i now liking liking excellent like with e Baking, baking, great, bake with E, boxes, boxes, excellent, box. Now, uh, find the word uh, that makes sense in the sentences below. Sam is fast or faster or fasting than Luke. What I said, when we see than, it has to be, yeah, faster. Mia is the person I know. Kinder, kind, kindest. Great job, kindest, kindest. Excellent. Check your answers. Check your answers. Okay. Now let's go on page 541. 541. Open your readers and writers book uh, notebook page 541. We want to cross any word in each box that is not a base word with the added ending shown at the top of uh, the box. Um, okay, so you have to cross any word in each box that is not, not, not a base word, okay? Okay, take five minutes. Think and try to solve.
okay the first added ending shown at the top here we have s s okay which word or words uh, not a base word with uh, this added ending his his is it no excellent now hers hers yes miss miss no excellent birds birds great yes walks walks yes does does no excellent now the second added ending we have e s e s let's read the words we have reaches reaches yes excellent cheese cheese yes excellent no we have to cross it okay presses presses yes punches yeah dresses yeah excellent lessons lessons no excellent now red red where we have ed red no excellent sailed sailed the base is sail and we have we add ed sailed yes pointed point and ed yes rested great bed no excellent cricket no super now ing we have ing talking talk ing yeah okay ring no excellent string also no excellent ringing yeah playing yeah drinking yeah excellent now we have er teacher teach and er teacher yeah another no excellent shorter short and er yeah banner no lower excellent low er lighter light e excellent now est tallest great job west no fastest fast and est great job best no smartest longest excellent now check your answers this is what we have for today thank you for listening i will meet you tomorrow inshallah bye bye